The new D size mod just dropped, and I think this is a perfect time to do a deep dive into the lore of each character in the mod, starting with D size boyfriend and girlfriend, of course. Now, while D side Boyfriend does still have some of the same quirks as the original Boyfriend, they also have a ton of differences. The first one being that in this universe, Boyfriend is actually filthy rich. His father, who is named Greg, is the CEO of a successful video game company, and Boyfriend has reaped the benefits of his father's success. Something I like about this Boyfriend, though, is that even though he's rich, he's not a spoiled brat, and he doesn't flex his cash. And out of all the versions of Boyfriend that have been created, this version probably has the highest sense of justice and the best moral compass. One of the reasons that we know this is because he is stated that if he ever met soft boyfriend's parents he would literally break their shins and while that does sound violent it actually is warranted for those of you that never actually played through the soft mod soft boyfriend's parents abused him a lot so boyfriend would basically be like standing up for benjamin and for people that may not be thinking that this version of boyfriend is very powerful because the original wasn't necessarily the best fighter this one actually is extremely strong and the devs have stated that if he got into a fight with anybody in this mod he would win and that's a big deal because there's literal demons in this mod obviously that Daddy Dearest and Mommy Mirrors. And another weird fact about Boyfriend is that he actually was born with the shark teeth that we see here in the mod, and he has a stomach that is similar to a goat, meaning that he can basically consume anything. And this is why his favorite foods are drywall and wet paint. Now next up we have Girlfriend, and she has a lot in common with the original Girlfriend, but one of the major differences is that she has orange hair and freckles all over her body, but just like the original Girlfriend, she is still a bit of a scatterbrain, and it has been confirmed that she is autistic, just like the original. Something interesting about Girlfriend here is that she's a hardcore nerd and gamer which is probably one of the reasons that her and boyfriend click so well and something that i found funny about her backstory is that she's kind of like a vegetarian in the fact that she believes that eating animals is wrong but funny enough her favorite food is actually fried chicken which is a hilarious contradiction and the fact that i think is cute about this version of boyfriend and girlfriend is that they are not sex crazy like the original this version of girlfriend and boyfriend haven't actually done anything on that level yet they just really enjoy spending time with each other playing video games and going on dates which in my opinion is just super adorable next Next up we have Mommy Mirrors and Daddy Dearest and the most obvious change with them is that their skin is now red and of course their hair is a different color but they are both still crazy about each other and of course crazy about girlfriend. In this universe Daddy Dearest is a huge rock star but his career is actually only going up unlike the original who seemed to be near the end of his career. Something else that is different here is that this version of Daddy Dearest is considered a trans man which means that he was assigned female at birth but later decided that he was more comfortable as a male. Just like the original Daddy Dearest he doesn't believe that boyfriend is worthy of his daughter daughter, but in this universe he can't simply bully boyfriend or send assassins after him because even though daddy dearest is strong enough to lift the house, boyfriend is still technically able to beat him in a fight if they ever did actually come to blows. The only reason that I think they haven't fought though is because both daddy dearest and boyfriend love girlfriend so much that they don't want to fight and actually cause her pain. Now surprisingly, Mommy Mirrors doesn't actually hate Boyfriend, she just goes along with her husband in order to keep the peace. Some fun facts about Mommy Mirrors though is that she is technically stronger than Daddy Dearest and she could literally break a bowling ball with her thighs if she chose to. And just like Girlfriend, Mommy Mirrors is also a hardcore gamer which is probably where Girlfriend got it from in the first place. Next on the list we have Skid and Pump and I swear these kids always get the saddest backstories and mods. In this mod we see that Skid is dressed like a vampire and Pump is a ghost. The sad part though is that Pump is wearing this sheet because he actually just recently dies and he wears this sheet to hide his decaying body. The only person that seems to know this is Lila aka Skid's mom and she won't tell Skid because she knows that the news would break his heart. But it is kind of cute to know that even in death these kids are still pretty much inseparable. Now keeping right along with sad backstories, now we have Pico. In this universe Pico is pretty good friends with Cassandra and the other golf kids but one day Cassandra decided that she was going to go on a rampage in the school, similar to the events of the original Pico school and then after that she was going to take herself out. Pico caught wind of this and decided to try to stop her by calling the police before she could hurt the other students or herself. But when the police got on the scene, they ended up actually shooting Cassandra and she did not survive. After that, Pico basically blamed himself for her death and wondered if there was a different way he should have gone about it. In his grief, Pico disappeared for months until finally reaching out to Nene and Darnell, asking them to meet him in Philly. Now the three of them live in the same apartment structure and are assassins together. And just like in the base game, Daddy Dares tries to hire Pico to kill Boyfriend, but Pico refused to take the job because he used to actually date boyfriend and the two of them are still friendly to each other somewhat. The saddest part about Pico's story is that he was actually a really good kid before Cassandra's death and even wanted to be a teacher so that he could help other kids but at this point he's just too broken to go down that original path. Now let's move on to somebody that's a bit less sad and that is Sensei who's D-Side Senpai. 
Instead of being in a dating simulator though, he is a martial arts master in a fighting game. He differs from Senpai in a few other ways as well, one being that he actually has a wife in this universe and they seem to be in an ace relationship. And unlike the original Senpai, this version isn't actually a jerk, but he does have a bit of a temper. And just like the original, he also has a dark spirit inside of himself called Dwayne. This is a spirit that we see actually burst out of Senpai's back in this cutscene here. And before Dwayne was a spirit, he was actually just a regular teenager that was friends with girlfriend. And he basically started to develop feelings for girlfriend. And since he was very respectful and a bit old fashioned, he decided to ask Daddy Dearest if he could date his daughter. Now, Daddy Dearest at first pretended to be okay with this idea, but once Dwayne let down his guard, Daddy Dearest used his magic to trap him inside one of girlfriend's favorite fighting games. Now, Dwayne has become nothing more than a vengeful spirit whose only goal is to hurt as many people as he can. And he's even willing to hurt girlfriend now because he only feels resentment for ever loving her in the first place. Another little sad fact as well is that people back in the real world just think that Dwayne is dead. There's even a gravestone for him that can be seen in the graveyard of the song Full Hardy. We also see John Plainman in this mod as well, who's basically the D-side version of Tank Man. In actuality, there isn't a whole lot of lore behind this particular character. He's basically just Tank Man, except that he loves planes instead of tanks. And besides him being in a more aviator type outfit, nothing else really changes about Tank Man here. Now, next up, we need to talk about Virtual Rom, who is the D-side version of Mario.exe. And one of the major differences between the two of these characters is that Virtual Rom doesn't actually go out of his way to bring people into the virtual world, like we saw Mario.exe do with Boyfriend. In reality, this version of Mario just wants to be left alone so he can enjoy the silence. The only reason that he is aggressive in this mod is because Boyfriend basically forces him to have this rap battle. And as the rap battle continues to go on, we actually see this version of Mario take on his true form. We see that his limbs basically elongate, they get super long, and they almost look like they're broken. And we see his face basically split open. He has like three mouths on his face and one on his head. Very reminiscent of like Lord X and Sonic.exe, which obviously the original Mario.exe was based on. Next up, we have an old school character, and that is Zardy, who was originally from a game titled Zardy's Maze, but the D-side version of him looks more like a Grim Reaper, which basically means that he is like a shepherd for people's souls to go to the afterlife. Sadly, the soul that he's after at this moment is Pump, because as I said earlier, Pump just recently died, but he refuses to move on to the afterlife. Interestingly enough though, Zardy hasn't actually been able to put Pump to rest for whatever reason. The bad news though is that now Zardy is basically obsessed with taking Pump to the afterlife. And I'm not really sure if this makes Zardy the good guy here or the bad guy, because I do understand on some level that once people pass on they need to go ahead and be removed from this world but at the same time it feels really icky like trying to take this kid away from his life and his family and his friends but put down in the comments what you guys think should Zardy just allow Pump to remain basically like a walking dead or do you think he should go ahead and take his soul next up we have Zephania aka D Size Mighty Zip and while it may be a bit confusing these two are technically separate entities Zephania started out as an AI in the Sega Sonic the Hedgehog PC part ROM and one day, Zephania decided to attack Mighty and devour him. Once Mighty was gone, Zeph used his shape-shifting abilities to basically take on Mighty Zip's form. And to make matters even worse, Zep can also absorb the abilities of the people that he devours. And for those of you that don't know, Mighty Zip is based off Mighty the Armadillo, who is basically a slightly less powerful version of Sonic the Hedgehog, which means that this guy can be a real problem if he wants to be. We also see two other D-side versions of Mighty Zip in this mod, one being Timma Mighty, which is basically Majin Sonic, and the other being God Z, which is basically Lord X. The mod also has Ved Guy and Mac, who are basically D-side versions of Urple Guy and Matt Pat. While there isn't a lot of lore about these two, I do think it's funny that Mac's design was inspired by a character from the show is Always Sunny in Philadelphia named Charlie Kelly. For fans of the show, apparently this is supposed to be a reference to the Pepe Sylvia sequence. Now we also see Police Guy, Chica, and Foxy pop up in the mod, but their D-size version don't really have any new lore. Next we see Lord X, Majin Sonic, and Sonic.exe pop up in the mod as well, but the lore for them is all the same as their originals pretty much. The only big differences with them is some of their outfits. We see that Lord X is actually wearing glasses and a suit. Sonic.exe has a scarf, and sadly, the scarf is actually made from the tails of Tails. And Majin Sonic is in a suit and a top hat, which weirdly kind of fits his vibe. Tricky is another character that pops up, but instead of the still mask, he's wearing like this jester costume and a creepy porcelain mask on his face. And lastly, I want to mention Dream. And even though the character didn't actually make it into the mod, I was able to find his sprite online. And while we didn't get a song from him, I will admit that just his character design does look pretty awesome. It reminds me a lot of like something that Meat Can you would have made. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video on the screen here. Subscribe today to become a member of the Ors Force, and we'll see you later with another video. Peace, peace.